They this did. one last time. I think that, that that was the one thing that we have to put out there is that if G2 are going to have a chance in this series, I think they need to take this map. And they've got off to a decent start. They've managed to take down Dapper. A couple of players were already, Eddie, yeah, already rotated in. It's early in the day. Uh, but uh, they're going to get themselves the after plant, and more importantly, the wall has kept them safe. The players have had their warm-ups. You can yeah, see I need that. one too. <laughs> <laughs> but surely, this is where uh, Sentinels start to mount that comeback quite quickly into the site. Sick, wanting to move through the wall. Doesn't want to overextend. Nukia already picking up Shazam. This becomes so difficult for Sentinels to hold okay. on. Hey, G2 just keep on coming with only one player taken down. This pistol is so close to flawless. Of course, he is going to be able to just dash out of there, and especially after being tagged, I'm actually quite surprised he's sticking around of over. It's going to pick him off, leave a weapon in the back line, and Kellogg's has just found another onto Dapper. This bonus is looking incredible. They need tens to go huge. Luckily for him, he is, well, I was going to say he's going to be able to dismiss, but Nuki already behind him. Yeah, he caught him, got right up in his face as he came out of dismiss, and what was a very weak round for G2. Spectres, for the most part, a mark and a sheriff and they've only lost the pistol yet again but Zom's desperately trying to pull this one back he'll go down and that is the freest round for G2 because it's for them and 5-0 on the attacking oh, side we know that G2's always been strong in this attack but this would be something different and Shazam's already dead oh, that was like eight seconds in we talked about Shazam's operator obviously Kellogg's has bought up his own and now he's the only opera left on the server for the time being at least a man advantage for G2 claimed by Nukia who's still walking forward looking for more victims and finding them the nade onto the back site and the hunter's fury it will not connect for the kill but the nade will that is glorious for g2 four versus two and sick can't even get a kill on the board again it's zom's left to 1v4 retaken oh well it doesn't look like he's gonna get anything either four k out of nukia what what g2 had for breakfast they do have the flank being watched though kellogg's is more than aware and with that push coming through it might start to make them hesitate a little bit whether they continue this push but to be honest, they're continuing to find all the openers they could possibly need. They're just ripping apart this site. It may have been a stack. It may have been a fire. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen them look this weak. And that's not to say that are yet again. And you'll notice he's not quite playing as aggressive as he did before. Maybe a little bit scared of running into Nuke. Yeah, 10 certainly should have been. He's gone down. They still have this bait and switch. You can see Sick has gone into a far more aggressive position than what we've seen before. It does seem like 10s has started to be predicted quite often now by the side of G2. But with Mixor falling. There seems like a chance, but Nukia's just on one today. Sick, as said, he's in a prime position to do a fair amount of damage, but now the showstopper comes through and catches him on the edge of the wall, leaving just two men standing for the side of Sentinels. So well played so far by G2 and a 4v2 yet again. Dapper and Zoms, we've seen it so many times, but here's a successful start. Zoms left in the 1v3. Kellogg's still low, but he has that operator so hard on improving their game. And so far, it's been working out for them in this series as well. Shazam connects the Cold Dementor, though. That's the pick that they needed. He's got all the blades back up. And that's the difference maker in a round like this where they don't even have a rifle to play around. Oh, Kellogg's already taking a lot of map control. I think Dapper will have heard him. So he's going to be wary of his flank. And, well, maybe not expecting Kellogg's to be that far forward. Six are onto Zoms. Now, he popped his ultimate at the beginning oh. of the round. Shazam will close out the lurk, but... He needs to get something done here. Luckily, this weapon at close range, it can 30 work. Seconds 30 left. seconds left as they dive on in, but they've already bypassed him. Going up above as well. The site is now theirs. The res on a dapper might not mean much if Zoms goes down, and he will. Walking out of the Viper's pit and being dropped straight away. Man advantage no longer in their favor. Shazam wants to get the opening. But does he know that right up above is Mixwell waiting to catch Dapper as he comes on through? There's the kill for Shazam and Sick manages to save his life. Now they should have their first round unless Nukia has got something to say about it. And he doesn't. Welcome to the scoreboard as Sentinels hit one. It took them quite a bit of time and definitely watching for the flank play, holding it down, but might be caught on the cross, and he'll be on his way because Sick has already been taken down, but there it is. Shazam trading it back, taking out the star player for G2 in this map so far. That could be a huge blow to the attacking side, but they have got the spike planted. Time is on their side, and as it e ticks away ever faster, Sentinels need to make this B retake work. It hasn't been successful for them so far, but they haven't had this kind of weaponry in the past.
This is the Avova spot. This is one of those positions where he sticks in all the time. Tens on a late flank, he's been spotted. They're expecting him now, but could act as a bit of a distraction. And quickly, Sentinels just drop three players. It's left all on to Mixol, and his burst through the screen is not going to achieve. And down for a slight angle. Oh, the Boombot gives away his position. He's being blast packed, but somehow he's able to get a kill from that position. Still alive now as Sentinels gain the man advantage, and there's so little time left. G2 are just being poked and pressured, and by the looks of it taken down, Avova somehow able to stay alive. He's getting the spike planted. Kellogg's has come in with two, and all of a sudden, it's down to sick. He has to clutch this one out. No idea where Avova might have gone. The rap could be in play, and he's about to get peeked out by Kellogg's on the op. This is so tough. He needs an opportunity to take a duel and a close shot, but a whiff. Now as the time ticks away, sick is taken down easily. They oh, does Tens hear the footsteps? I think he did. Yeah. I think he might just about have caught them. Shazam's ready with the Operator for a quick kill. The answer is definitively no. And they've also stacked up the remaining players. There's even one watching into mid just to try and hold off the flank. This is being perfectly played at the moment by Sentinels. They have them trapped and G2 have to try and fight out. Mixor though has been able to find one. And this could give them at least a little bit of space. The problem, though, is the spike has currently dropped all the way back towards 10. So he's called for that little bit of extra support. Shazam, though, he misses his shot. Yeah, he's going to be tagged up massively. Has to be so cautious about any future fights that he wants to take. Waiting for his teammates to rotate into position for G2. 30 seconds left. Moving around to grab that spike is going to be pretty tough. And Nukin knows that he's about to run into a couple of players. Tens shutting him down. A third kill for that man in this round. And that pretty much cements the save for G2. If Mixwell finds an opportunity right away, sure, maybe they go for it. But it's been an abysmal half for Sentinels. But if they find this one, there's still hope. Thank you. Yeah, I, I think that's the first time we've actually seen coming in with four. This is where Tens becomes revitalized. Shazam, operator in hand. This is another shot and Zoms goes down the B site under threat sick has rotated in so Shazam oh tries to get back but he's caught on the cross sick left waiting in the sidelines no res in play for them coming into this final round and Kellogg's he's forced back he can't cover the plants but we will have a Viper's Pit activated that will buy them some space but a Dapper can manage to find Mixwell here and grab a tag that could have been huge but instead they're using it as a fake they're running away oh, towards the A-site, beautiful. just leaving Kellogg's here with a Bulldog in hand. He's going to try to shut these guys down. Oh, this is just the biggest bait of all time. Tens they, past they, it. They've actually watched in mid as well. They, they think that there's going to be players. The only problem here could be that they actually get caught from behind. Nuke here. Oh, he's going back! Tens is like, oh, I must be going towards the B-site. Sentinels are completely lost in this round. And now he's going to go running through the spawn. And Nuke is just waiting for him. This is glorious from G2. Leaving just Appa standing to try and pull off a ludicrous clutch. And he will not even get a moment to think about that. Mixwell shutting him down. Third kill. He has been trying his best. Yep. He's been praying to anybody can. Oh, Sick is going all the way through. Of course, he doesn't have the ice wall to play with, so they need to be a bit more aggressive than you'd normally expect. And it works out to take New Kid down, but the Shock Dart returns the kill. Still has been that fallout, that fallback, but it's still going to be a pretty awkward spot. One being spotted will allow Kellogg's to try and reposition and take the battle, but Shazam has taken out Mixwell. That's huge. Viper Utility for retake taken out, but so is Shazam. It keeps on trading back in G2's favor. Sentinels need a big play, and with Zom's on two health, he's going to struggle to get anything done. Sick has to be the clutch man of the round. A 1v2, 10 seconds left, and very little that he can get done. Double digits. Need to get in, and they need to get back into it now. A fast push coming in on towards the A side. Spike actually leading the charge. It could be dropped, but instead, Sick will win himself the duel. A lot bought up for Sentinels, and they're looking to get the value out of it. Plants coming through. Avolva has the flank, but it's being watched. Tens not able to connect Avolva, even predicting the position correctly. Dapper up above will be slowed down, and Nuki is picking up doubles on the site. This is falling apart for Sentinels, an absolute disaster. Zombs tries to step it up, but he's so low he'll be dealt with easily, as will Dapper. And this is 11 for G2. Is in on the site. Yeah, their weaponry does slightly favor them over what we're currently seeing with no ultimates online. If Kellogg's maybe gets himself a kill, but well, actually no, he's picked up the orb, so he will have his blade storm. It's going to be down to that battle of the flank. If he falls, I feel like this round looks very unlikely, but if he can get rid of Dapper, there's a good chance.
still no plan, just a constant harassment of utility coming towards Sentinels. They managed to trade it back and keep the man advantage out of the hands of G2, but only for a moment. Shazam, the last alive, kick off the series for Sentinels. Zoms. I mean, he can't even point at him. The whole team has been struggling, and I think that guy had to retake the A site like the first six rounds to play with. And actually, Shazam, if he can get the one on the other side, Boys he'll be on. looking at his blade storm. Well, it starts out poorly with Dapper going down. That operator on range taking the kill. Mixwell might just have heard the drop. There's the distraction shot as he swings out. Wow. Didn't have to think about that one for long because they've only lost one other map. But now, though, Shazam looking to try and change that. But the trades come back so thick and so far. This lap all on to 10. He's giving it a damn good go, but down to 24 HP. He will heal up, and maybe he can keep them in it. It's him versus Kellogg's, the operator facing off against the Guardian, and Kellogg's will close it. A phenomenal. It's like, that was what he almost defined himself as when we came into Valorant. Like, he was one of the. Well, let's hope so. As we kick off the pistol here on Split, Sentinels have suffered. A crushing defeat, and now they're looking for revenge. Nukia picking up the first to take down Sick here in the pistol. That puts a bit of a sour taste in Sentinel's mouth. Yeah, it's not going to be the greatest start of all time, but they are still going to take quite a bit of control. Already pushing their way up the ramp and just having a little bit of a look on the flank. Just check no one's coming through so quickly. It's going to have to be a push forward from Dapper. He gets caught up by the nade, and Nuki's already found another. Tens, low HP as well, and here comes the blast pack, ambitious from Mixwell, but he's got teammates to trade, and just like... When he goes onto the defensive side, Shazam, I expect him to be running right at Nuclear, though, this is what I mean, like, he's gonna be taking huge advantage in all the ranged fights that they take. I got the spike. With a minute left, they don't need to feel shoehorned in to pushing just yet, but they have obviously got the spike, that was an <laughs> wow. ambitious play by Mixwell. Been watching some bunny vods, has he? But he won't be getting anything done here in Avova. Trying to make it costly, a double kill for him before he eventually goes down. And that was starting out as a pretty giving Nukia with all the openings he found in the attack. That Reyna could be absolutely massive. To start this one out, Kellogg's goes down right away, but Mixwell's good for the rotations, but Coldementor is very far away. The pull, but no spam. This sort of sells the fact that he's not on the back side, and then he baits them in and takes the kill. Now, as they come ever closer, he's good for his second. Evova holding this one down all by himself, and his teammates are rallying to his side. Evova has done a spectacular job of not giving away that advantage or the side control, and they don't even get to... It's coming in through heaven as we speak. The nade forces him back. Now they can split this push and just look to take down the heaven players. Mixwell does exactly that. But Shazam, it's a beautiful right click to take him down. Sadly, no one else is able to answer up on the Sentinel side, leaving Zom's to fend for himself. They are coming up above, and he has nothing to do here with a classic after he runs. Is that going to happen every time? No. And you need something else. For that operator stays in, and even though they've rezzed up, they still have a man disadvantage. Mixwell is giving them no space to breathe. In fact, looking at... Yes, we need that on the big screen. That was absolutely gorgeous, and we'll talk about that a little bit later on. There's no time, because Sentinels are rushing in towards the site. Good trade to start it out. Cold Dementa holding close still, only good for the one. The operator misses, and tens might just have shown up when they needed him. Three kills out of this young man. But the problem is, even though they vaulted sight, they don't have spike it's held up above by nuke waiting for tens to come up the ropes no. and he does that is the spike retrieved and what should be an easy plant and a very difficult clutch out of kellogg's the position he's in though will they they have an incredibly good idea of where the last man of g2 is standing tens has exploded into the server but can kellogg's ruin it for the side of sentinels absolutely not few players in through middle that's where the spike is but it won't be able to move all too far forward they are using a lot of utility to keep them out. The lockdown is surely going to be a big problem for them. In fact, Sentinels are rushing onto the site. They're going to try to get out the other side of it, and they will. They've made it all the way through. Huge commitment from G2, and it sees practically no reward. The spike retrieved. Can Sick get out of there, though? Oh, no! Mixwell whiff! And that might just have given them the opening. Cold Damenta not able to answer up when needed, and Nukia has to clutch it out. One versus three, and he's not even going to get a second's notice. 
75 seconds left. Now they know Raze is here, and that means the Showstopper is too. But with 20 seconds, they have no choice but to go. Here comes the Showstopper. That's going to slow them down. In fact, it's going to pick off 10s. The difference maker in a lot of these rounds. 10 seconds left. They still need to deal with Avova on the site. Oh! And they walked right past him. Avova somehow connected that second shot as well. He's got three on the board, and the round is G2's. A spec in a perfect position. They expect him, but they don't manage to find the kill. Now, the trade's all right, but this will actually spot out the luck. So for the remaining players of G2, they can actually stack up B. Try to make a little jump above the wall, see if anyone was there. Down close is clear. There's a Lear back site. They know where Nukia is, but they still haven't spotted Cold Dementa. They know he's around here because his turret was chiming off, and now in comes... Uh, Kellogg's, excuse me, with Cold Dementa, Nukia back side, and Avova up in heaven. G2 and Sentinels, despite having plenty of ultis to use in this final round, they kind of need it They're so quickly. And at 15, almost straight where he would have been if he decided to try and swing out on that. Tens is going to be brought back, and there's not really anything they can do about it. Even having the gravity well to try and pull them back here. Again, it's going to be the split onto the site. as new care. The oh! fight, but it's the kill out from Mixwell. He will come away with two kills, and it's left to Shazam trying to hold on here. To middle a lot of damage done onto Kellogg's and Tens is gonna duck away. Wings on this fight, frenzy and play, beautiful shot. For now, at least, things are looking incredible. How did he get a headshot out of that with the frenzy spray down mid? The damage will be healed up on, that's the only problem. Stars available for them to at least try and slow down this push, and the problem for G2 is there's not a lot of time. They're gonna try and take that elevated angle across, but it is clean from Sentinels, leaving just one man standing. Of over with 15 seconds left. This pistol has gone the way of Sentinel. Here's the boom bot, drops the orb, and just gets the hell out of there. And the most important thing is this stops them from really getting that old orb themselves. Tens blinded up by the Leer, and so they have time to take him down. Sure! Oh, what is that from Dapper? Sick drop shotting down. But we can expect to see in the next map as well if we do end up on bind, but for G2 to play with. But if Kellogg's goes down here, that's the spike on the floor, and he turns at just they're starting to set up to punish it. Avova strikes at the right moment. He has a read on sick, oh. and he's will have a 1v1 setup. Predicting this aggressive play, it needs to be the headshot, and Zoms is going to close out. A little bit more, a little bit more. A little bit. There, there it is. This is a huge bait. They see that orb, they think there's no way someone's here, but sick is. He's trapped in the corner, though, and taken down, and the staffer tries to escape. He is pursued. Shazam eliminated in middle. Now the split comes to fruition. Mixwell's back online with the res, and Avova is on his way. He is creeping close. He's hearing the steps. He knows exactly where Dapper is. Avova, good for one, but it's a trade out. Sentinels are keeping this competitive. Zoms has to make a big clutch happen. He's going to stop them from planting for just a moment. No, actually, he doesn't. It's a little bit too deep. He was hoping that this was going to be a plant in for main. Oh, oh the no! Job! Just the wrong what? time! But he still gets away with a frag. In fact, he has more HP than Cold oh! And he wins it out! Three kills for Zom! And that's going to be a rotation before anything can really be done. Oh, it's a little bit shallow, but the spams get him in the end. Good kill to start. Wall across, and here comes the showstopper. Looking at the backside, and Tens again. The victim found by that rocket. He is taken down. Dapper is too. Shazam doing his best to keep this one alive, but a shot through the legs as we will leave Zoms again in a clutch situation. Clutchy out was the only one alive, and oh dear, they've actually lost the ultimate is online. It makes a big difference with oh. this purchase. Oh. Mixos just gone straight through, though. It just blasts back. And it might not have been as clean as oh, money, but that was! Shazam's gonna take two with the Blade Storm, bringing this round back into contention. There's also the res online, so potentially gonna be able to use that while holding onto the angle. The wall doesn't block it. Luckily for Ten, he's gonna be finding the shot anyway. Again, we find ourselves in a 2v2, but G2 do get the res off. Yeah, it looks like Sick might be able to do the same. It's a risk, but he's going to take it. Dapper falls in the meantime, though, so the numbers stay exactly the same. Down goes Sick to the operator, and Kellogg's hits in so well. Sight control and a deep nade out of Mixwell, but he won't be re-aggressing into that operator. Kellogg's not playing the jet. He can't get out of there. Wasn't able to escape this time. The Empress pop for Nuclear Kill will grant him his full HP back. Cosmic Divide though thrown through. And Avova, just before it pops, will manage to get the pick. They're going to try and sneak their way through it on the other side. It's disordered. He's blocking him on the other side. And Avova again. He's using these Cosmic Divides to ridiculous effect. Sentinel.
Eagles can do absolutely nothing, and it's left on to Shazam, although he finds two. This utility time and time again. And they go for the same this time around, right by. No, oh, he gets no. caught up. Songs. Good for one. Sick trading from above, even in for two. And then Shazam walks through, but he's taken down by Kellogg's. This man showing up when he needs to. Plants on backside. And a two versus two. Sentinels. Planted. Need to try and force this fight soon before Rez can come through. The right of close tens catches one, but Kellogg's needs to clutch it out. The Rez pulls one back online. Dapper has to take the fight, and that's information. It's all that Kellogg's wanted. He just needs a one more bullet. Dapper, 31 HP, and Sentinels oh, just kill. about stay alive. But they need to close it out. Oh. Damn, that was just a spam straight. But there's two players they have to deal with, and Dapper's already going to drop Strike another. This eight. gives him that Viper's Pit to left. just lock down the site, and the time is ticking now for G2. Oh, what is going on here? Nukia came in with a quick double. The A site, sure, it might have a Viper's Pit on it, but B is open, and they know it. They're rotating all the way over, allowing them to have whatever they like on the A site. And if they can Ten get the spike down left. quickly... Oh, in fact, there's no ult orb there. So, yeah, they're going to get this spike down. No res for sick unless he finds a kill. And when they get to the B site, there's no one for him to res. This is huge. G2 have a play with here, Tom. It's all down to aim duels on both sides of the coin. And the time is so low. They need to make a move. They need to find a kill soon, find some space, Sick is taken down, it's all up to Dapper, he's going in for the stick, halfway at least, ready to take the fight up above, and Coldement is shut down, he's almost got it, but they push at just the right moment, 13 to 11!